Hi, it's Warren here from Movex Space 360. Even though I have an S7 Edge, I still wish that the G360 can be operated on non-Samsung phones. Not because I don't like Samsung phones, but it's more about being able to have a backup device that I can use the G360 if something happened to my S7 Edge. Something as simple as out of battery because I'm using it as a phone as well. So thanks to a fellow G360 owner and developer Binary, who have been wanting to be able to use his G360 camera with his Sony Xperia Z5, he managed to customise and mod the G360 Manager ROM to operate on non-Samsung compatible devices. Before we go any further, please note that there may still be bugs using this, and this does not work on all Android devices, because there are base requirements for the app to run, and the app actually need quite a fair bit of processing, so it may not work on all devices. The device that I'm installing it on in this video is the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact and it actually does not work on it but thought to do this video anyway to walk everyone through the steps required to install this onto non-Samsung compatible devices so you can test it out yourself and see whether it works on your device. Binary have got it working on the Sony Xperia Z5 and other users have got this working on other devices such as the Lexus 6P, Lexus 5X, the HTC 10 amongst others. Hopefully Binary and maybe others in the dev community will continue working on this and making the G360 camera more accessible to everyone. Okay, first thing. The Android device needs to be at least running Lollipop or Android 5. And even if it is, it's not guaranteed that it will work fully. It all installed, loaded up and connected to my G360 on my Xperia Z3 Compact. It let me browse the videos and the images on the G360. But unfortunately, that's all it will allow me to do. I'm hoping that Binary will have future release that may allow it to work on my Z3, but I do not expect to demand him to do that, and I'm just happy that Binary is able to help those lucky ones that previously had non-compatible device ability to use the G360 camera. Okay, here we go. There's a few files that you'll need to download first. As I mentioned before, make sure that your device is running Lollipop or a high version of the Android OS. Then let's go and download the Samsung Accessory Services. There's a few ways you can do this. You can download this on one of the many websites that host APK's files. Here's one of those here. Otherwise, you can simply go into the Google Play Store, search for the Samsung Accessory Service, and you should be able to install directly from the Play Store as you would any other app. Next, we need the custom modded version of the Samsung Key 360 Manager. You can download this on Binary Threads page on xdadeveloper.com. There are actually two versions of the G360 Manager app on this page. There's a 2K stitching version and a 4K stitching version. This means that for those users who has an S6 or Note 5 and have the 2K stitching resolution limit previously, can also try out the 4K resolution version and see whether it will work for them. Follow the link on this page and download the version that you want to try out and use. Next, you'll need to copy both the app APKs to your mobile device. Obviously, you won't have to do this if you install the Samsung Accessory Manager via Google Play Store. Once the APKs are copied to your device, you just need to use the file manager of your choice on your mobile device and open the APK to install them. Just make sure that you have opened up your phone security to allow APK from sources other than the Play Store to be installed. To check this, just go to your settings, security and make sure this settings is enabled to install your apk just open up your file from your file manager tap on it and follow the instructions to install first i install the samsung accessory service and then we can do the same thing for the samsung g360 manager uh, remember there was a 2k and a 4k version so i'm just showing you which one it is uh, we've got on here um, you can choose the one that you want to install find it click on it follow instruction and it's as simple as that to install the Samsung G360 manager onto your uh, Android phone so now that everything is installed you just open the G360 manager get your um, G360 camera and connect it to your phone uh, press on the Bluetooth button to enable Bluetooth and then follow the instruction on screen to connect to your G360 manager. Um, so it should be just as simple as that, finding the camera that you've got, click connect, um, accept your agreements and it should pick up and connect to your camera. 
Um, so I've got it working on my um, Sony Xperia Z3 Compact, at least connecting the camera. So as you can see, it's connected. I can see all the settings in there. Um, I can check the um, photos and videos on the camera itself. So it's just loading now. So it actually brings back the photos and the videos from the camera itself. Um, but unfortunately on my uh, Xperia Z3 Compact, this is all it can do. I can't really stitch the photos or the videos. And I'll show you what happens now if I actually choose a, uh, a photos to try to stitch together. Um, it, will, it will start stitching it together. Um, unfortunately, it will just go to 50% or so and then it will just cancel it out. So I don't know whether it's a memory problem or a processor problem or whatever the case might be. Hopefully Binary might have a fix or a solution for this in this future update, but until then, um, it's really not useful on the uh, C3 Compact. Um, hopefully you have better luck with this. Um, I'll quickly go into um, the live view as well and see where I can get to. It doesn't actually work on my phone either. Um, what it'll do, it'll kind of get to a live view screen, you can see some of the settings there, and then it just kind of hangs there and I'll have to exit out. So that's pretty much all it's kind of will work with the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact. Um, Binary actually have got this working on some of the higher end Android phones now so hopefully you have better luck um, and I guess Samsung is right that it probably need a really high end current mobile phone in order to get it to working properly. Hopefully this video have helped you with getting the mod that ROM onto your phone and hopefully you are more successful than I am with my phone um, with getting this running. Um, once again, thank you for Binary for releasing this modded custom um, version of the Key 360 Manager. It definitely helps a lot of other people out that doesn't have the Samsung uh, flagship phones to use the camera. So uh, thank you so much for Binary for that. And as usual, please comment and like our videos and subscribe to the channel if you um, just like what we're doing in general. Um, please give us feedback and um, as we release more videos in the coming weeks. So until next time, it's Warren from Oakville Exposed. Thank you.